Okay, so here's our new place. We've got a nice double wide mobile home that we completely remodeled. It was in great shape, it just needed a remodel. And we put this mulch down. We've been doing a lot of tree work, clearing out stuff, cutting down limbs, cutting down trees. Eventually this entire front yard will be a garden. And, uh, and all around here where the mulch is, we're gonna plant fruit trees, grape vines, um, blackberry plant, strawberries, asparagus. We're gonna do just all kinds of um, all kinds of tree fig, little fig bushes, um, peach trees, apple trees, pear trees. They're gonna go all in this area right here. So we have uh, six acres. We've got five acres on this side and we've got one acre over here and our son Gideon has already been doing his wood splitting, firewood splitting here for a while. So you can see his piles over there and a f some friends of ours, a couple of different friends of ours have tree service businesses. And so he gets all the logs that he needs and then we have uh, the couple of friends that have tree services, they chip up debris and also another tree service that comes along and clears under power lines they bring us loads of mulch so we'll have plenty of mulch for gardening and also to sell to people so we've got this nice 40 by 60 shop and inside of this shop there is a an unfinished apartment that we hope to finish so that'll be handy if we have friends or family that come to visit they can stay out in the apartment all right i'll show you the back Okay, and here's our lovely backyard. We've got chickens that'll be coming soon. A man that we met, he, well, before we met him, we heard about him through a mutual friend, and he was just ready to, to get rid of his chickens. He has, I don't know, somewhere between probably 30 to 40 of them that he's getting rid of. They're already laying. And so we're going to use this area down here where we've got all these trees and um, we're going to put their coops which will be movable along with some movable poultry netting so that we can free range them and yet keep them, kind of keep them contained and protected because once we do our landscaping here and get everything all pretty we don't want them all tearing up, tearing up what we've done. Uh, we've got some bees here that have been here for a while and they're doing really well and then we have bees at our Norfolk place as well which we hope will sell soon so anyway we hope you'll come along with us for this journey we're just beginning we've got a lot to do here but we hope that you'll join us with some of the projects that we've got going on here in north central Arkansas and just thought I would say that Sid Put all this lovely rock down he brought it load by load and spread it out with his tractor there wasn't anything here but a muddy mess when it rained and so anyway he got this smoothed out and put us a nice driveway and a nice pad to park equipment and vehicles and soon we'll have a, a carport and storage building and some other such uh, additions I guess you could say <laughs> 